All righty, now on last week's show we had young Blake Austin from the Penrith Panthers come on. Very impressive young Blake, playing his second first grade game last Friday night and may have scored the quickest try for a player coming on from the interchange bench. Watch it. From the bottom right of screen, he runs on from the bench in the 52nd minute. And in the 52nd minute plus five seconds, he scores a try. Well done, Blake Austin. Outstanding stuff. Now, some stuff you may have missed. Michael Crocker got an attack by a security guard in Newcastle. Watch the pass. He's not ready for it. Going right in the groin. And John Williams lining up this goal last Saturday night. Oh, fair dinkum. How bad's that? John Scandala should know better taking young uh, Ben Murdoch Masilla straight past. Stuff you may have missed. All righty, second up, Jonathan Thurston. Had a little bit of fun in the uh, in Auckland last weekend. Some good, some bad. Let's look at the good first of all. He tried to get away with a sneaky try after a play had been called back going downfield. Jonathan grabs the second ball and dies over and said, that's got to be a try. Quick tap. Nah, too bad. All right, but earlier in the game, what about running into the advertising signs? Jonathan Thurston gets a push. <laughs> That could be very nasty stuff, that one. And Andrew Bobcat Ryan in his final game in the NRL celebrates a try in his final game and then almost dies in jumping onto a Bobcat. <laughs> that could have been broken back, broken groin if that's possible. Could have smashed his head. Interesting tackling styles last weekend. Big whip Mick Wayman at the Dragons Friday night. Superb cover tackle. But then he went looking for some Jats crackers to have a little nibble on. Let's watch it. Don't see it from the rear shot so much, but now let's watch it from side on. What is Mick Wayman doing here? Only he would know. <laughs> Chris Sando almost lost his pants for the Rabbitohs last Friday night, but a lovely touch. Very well-behaved man. Pulls them up before he gets to play the ball. But it gives us a chance to run the greatest hindy of all time. And it's Nathan Gardner and Jamali Brisk. Just thought you'd like to see it tonight. Neither of these teams in the final series. Let's show it again. Yes, indeed. That is for the all-time Hall of Fame in Rugby League. Stuff, boy, stuff you may have missed. I've enjoyed watching the Toyota Cup this year, I must say, and an outstanding performance from the uh, Auckland uh, Warriors. Very, very good team. Coached by John Ackland, who's a good bloke. But it's hard remembering all the big names in the Warriors' side, as you'll find out here. This is from last week, some more strike power for the Warriors. Yeah, um, you know, Conrad's back. Uh... You know, and who are the other changes? Well, that's one. That's enough. You're the coach. <laughs> you know, we got Doug. I like, um, you know, uh, good replacements. So, so yeah, you know, the boys are fired up. I'm oh, just getting back online, John. John, what was the name of that bloke again? Can we just hear that? You know, we got Doug. I like. Um... <laughs> Thought so. That's him. Rabs, you get looking forward to calling him one day, John. Nick, no. I, I, oh, no. All right, Rob, thank you. Now, Mad Monday exclusive on stuff you may have missed. Now, I must stress, these are not NRL players involved. They may be AFL or football or rugby union or something, but let's have a look. The old jumping out of the water fountain is always a good one. Let's watch it. Mad Monday starts off this way. Hey, hey! Ah, oh, not good, not good. There you go. But it is Mad Monday. And by Tuesday morning, we find the same bloke down by the creek. Oh, yes, it is an AFL player. Had confirmation. Here he is. Yeah, it's been a good night. What a season we had. Didn't make the top eight. Anyway, it's uh, bye for now. I'll see you next year. Well done. Stuff you may have missed. Falcon time. Let's start off with rugby league from last weekend. Canberra's Jared Croker copped a nice one. Here it is. Always tough, these bombs these days. A lot of players getting hit in the head. I love the Socceroos this week. Josh Kennedy. This is a classic. Watch it. Ball up in the air. Damn! <laughs> The accidental falcon, the accidental header, Josh Kennedy. Yeah! <laughs> and that <laughs> goal falcon, nothing better. Darlington versus Bury, one of the big matches from the UK this week. Stuff you may miss. Still on the beautiful game. Bloke lost all chance of having kids in Argentina this week, I'm sad to say. Here's the vision. That's, uh, that's a real nutting. Not as good as the best nutting of all time. Phil Babb for Liverpool, 1998 against Chelsea. This is very famous. He comes in full. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Derek dreadful stuff. Track and field. What happened to the bloke in lane eight? How did he get there, Daryl? Is he a cousin of yours or an uncle? I mean, what's this bloke doing at the World Championships? He trails by 20 metres after 20 metres. He's doing anyway. his best. Yeah, he's doing his best. Sean, Rafael Nadal suffering from cramp, but in the press conference, sitting on a chair. Speaking to the Spanish media, they don't even come to his help. 
Amazing stuff on stuff you may have missed. Now, finally tonight, the fans in good form last weekend. And we'll start off with Mad Dog McDougal, his last game in Newcastle. A tribute to him wearing the bald-headed wig. That's a lovely touch. On Father's Day weekend, that bloke copped an ice cream in the face. Now, from America, Arena Football, Jacksonville v Georgia. Now, watch the fans here. This is an opposition player they grab. Yeah, grab him once, then grab him across the face. Now, the teammates of the fans in the crowd, they come up and say, whoa, yeah, good on you, man. You're the best. Yeah, woo. And they started high-fiving him. Great stuff. Poor old New Zealand cricket fan. He just can't handle his drink, can he? Oh, well, he's, kind of... he's... he's had better days. That's unlucky. That, that can happen. Tonight, where did this green man come from at the minor league baseball? He's run on. Count how many people he beats. He's beaten two. He's beaten... Does he beat three? Have they got him here? No, he's up. They've got him. Three have got him. But he must be lubed up because watch what happens next. The green man. He fights. He turns. He runs. He's beaten five. Now he's in the clear. Where's he going to go? Well, little did we know, there's a yellow man up here behind a gate. The green man's in the clear. That's the last tackle. But a yellow man... Stop your name.